What's going on everybody? Uh, it's been actually a couple weeks since I've taped a traditional hot sauce review. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I actually will schedule out my reviews a couple weeks. Uh, so it's probably been three or four weeks since I've done a standard review. Now, I did go to New York State recently, which is where I'm from, and I did some kind of off the cuff reviews. Uh, I did a, well, and challenges. I did a, a hot wing challenge with my buddy Luke. That'll be coming to the channel soon. I did a hot sauce and hot maple uh, syrup review, thanks to Charlie and Nikki up at uh, up in, uh, our cabin in the woods. I also did a, uh, I ate a Carolina Reaper, my first and only Carolina Reaper. It was horrible. Uh, that probably won't come to the channel, but it was a good time. I had a great time in New York. I was able to eat some hot stuff, have some great pizza. Now I'm back, I'm back in Savannah with Lily. She's down here helping me with my review and uh, we're gonna get back at it and keep going through the fall with our regular reviews. Oh, and the other feedback I got from Charlie and Nikki was that I fidget too much when I'm doing my kitchen reviews. I'll try to, uh, you know, stand still a little bit, but what, what I, I'm just kind of doing my thing, especially if it's hot, it's not always something I can help. Uh, but, you know, I'm always receptive to feedback. I uh, always try to make this channel better and better can't always promise I'll deliver, but uh, what I do is provide candid reviews, uh, unbiased opinions of hot sauces, and occasionally hot peppers, so you know whether it's something you should order online uh, if you don't have access to a hot sauce shop like I do. Uh, so I'm doing you the service of trying out a new trying out a new hot sauce and giving my opinion on it so you have something to base your purchase on because some people in the Midwest or, or somewhere on an island, I don't know, don't have access to a hot sauce store. So they gotta go on other people's reviews. Uh, so I taste it and then I read a little bit about it. This is called Backdraft Fire Sauce. I remember it being hot and then I was at uh, Inferno the other, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and had it again and I said, no, oh, that's not that hot. So I think my tolerance is going up. So here we go, here's a little taste. Oh man, it looks really yummy. Yellow, I can see seeds and like black pepper spices. It's sweet. And it's hot. Yeah, it's got some heat. Mm. It is delicious though. Wow, that's almost like a mustardy, almost like a barbecue sauce. Lots of spices. I, I don't know if it's like necessarily like a Barbados style. Do you want to get up? Up, up, up. There, good girl. So, uh, backdraft fire sauce. Here's what they have to say. Ooh, lots of ingredients. Not always a good thing. Pure cane sugar, mustard, which is distilled vinegar, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, and spices, water, apple cider vinegar, red habaneros, Peruvian spices, salt, garlic, black pepper, crushed red, pe red pepper, onion, and other herbs and spices, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, which is water, distilled vinegar, Worcestershire concentrate, which is molasses, vinegar, water, spices, natural flavor, garlic powder, caramel color, salt, anchovies, tamarind, sugar, and salt, molasses, and black pepper, and still vinegar. And the fish is in the Worcestershire sauce. It's uh, the anchovies. So really, it's, it's not that many ingredients. It's just that the Worcestershire sauce and the mustard, which are in it, have a lot of ingredients that make up those sub sauces. This is going to be a long video because I'm just like going on and on. Apologies. The other thing is, I think I need glasses because it's getting hard to read these things. Anyway, backdraft, the, the fireman's nightmare, uh, which is because if a fire 
doesn't have enough oxygen and then they break a window and the oxygen floods into the room, it creates a blowtorch effect called the black, uh, the backdraft. Uh, so you're supposedly feeling that in your, in your mouth. Dedicated to all the brave firefighters around the world. That's awesome. Great grilling sauce, served with wings, chips, chicken fingers, shrimp, veggies, tempura, jalapeno poppers, and everything. Trinidad, okay. Uh, it's in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. And they don't have a website. Uh, it is so freaking tasty. It's sweet though, I have a sweet tooth. But, I mean, it is a complex flavor. Usually a simple sauce is better because there's not much to it. Uh, this is a pretty complex sauce. Beautiful color, I'll see if I can let the focus do its thing. Little red pepper flakes, the turmeric, the mustard, black pepper, and uh, I don't know what else. Some of the seasonings, herbs. It's got a kind of a little bit of a grainy consistency, but very smooth overall. Sweet, um, delicious. Uh, flavor, I'm gonna give it a seven. A good seven, Charlie and Nikki. Uh, and heat, it's a little more than middle of the road. I mean, I don't, at this point, I don't find it too hot, but we're gonna give it a six. I have to try and, I might have to go back and do some of my earlier videos again because uh, now my tolerance is up a little bit. I can have stuff that's hotter. Um, but it's got a little kick. Highly recommend it. I don't know what, how much it was. I'm gonna say eight bucks. Five ounce bottle, eight bucks. This'll last a while. It'd be good on chicken. It'd be good on anything that mustard would be good with. Pretzels. Uh, it'd be good at anything with like a barbecue sauce. You can marinate with this. Grilling. Um, everything they listed. I don't, there's one that sounded kind of weird, chips. I don't know what kind of chips you'd have with it, but maybe that's a french fry thing, I don't know. Anyway, this is the Backdraft Fire Sauce. Highly recommend it. You do have to keep it in the fridge because it does have so much sugar. Sugar will cause mold versus your vinegar and salt based uh, sauces. They're kind of antimicrobial. Uh, so that's it for this week. If you have recommendations, please drop them in the comments below. I will be finishing up what I have left in here. I've been saying that forever. I keep adding more. I that will happen, so I'll be reliant on your recommendations. But thank you, as always, for watching. We'll get back into the regular rhythm of this fall. I'll see you in the next video.